What's up guys? Today we're gonna do a little bit of a different type of video. So as you can see, the weather is beautiful. My tummy hurts, so I'm not gonna go hunt today. I'm staying home. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go through and sort out pretty much everything I've ever found metal detecting. Is this everything? Absolutely not. I've thrown away quite a bit, probably just as much as what you see here. But lately I've just been dumping it into these boxes in my trunk. So we're gonna sort through this stuff and make some room back there. And we're gonna keep the good stuff in here. We're gonna keep the coins in there and the trash is gonna go in here. So let's get going. Okay. Oh yeah. Now that's what I call a dump out reveal. Look at that. All this stuff came off beaches. Like there's my size 14 foot for, you know, reference. And there's more, <laughs> but wait, there's more. And yes, I did also find this bag on the beach as well. You might be wondering, why does your stomach hurt? This thing was about that full and I ate the whole thing in bed like a total scumbag last night. That's why my tummy hurts. Hey, <laughs> you reap what you sow, I suppose. So let's get started. So I guess for now, we're gonna just start with the trash. <clears throat> we're gonna put it in this bucket. So pencil eraser thing. This is trash. These are trash. Trash. Eh, that's questionable. These are questionable. Put them in the questionable pile. I know what you're thinking, clash of the century. Reebok socks with Adidas slides, what's wrong with this guy? Quite a bit, quite a bit. So we got some hoop jewelry. Then we got the toys. We'll keep the toys in this big box or we'll keep the stuff we're keeping in here. Keep the questionables in the lid. Creepy, right? Yeah, weird. We will get a total tent stake count for you. Stizzy vape with actual like weed stuff in it. Trash. That's technically jewelry, I forgot about that. Sam. No sharp hits. This is a magnet fishing find right here. Throw it over there in a questionable box. Junk. JDL USB.
Clint Eastwood. Up to no good. <laughs> Forgot about that one. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are not gonna keep that one. This one's just too, too far gone. It's from my last video. It's a Porsche 911 Turbo, not a It's another magnet fishing find right here. lens for these i'm pretty sure we can recycle these it's made from recycled plastic and it's becoming recycled plastic uh here's a toy car this one wasn't actually a metal detecting find it was a find in the parking lot on my way to go metal detecting so technically we didn't dig this but we did find it on a metal detecting mission so we're counting it and we're keeping it there's the little tractor from Carmel. Completely filled in with sand. Another cool little car. Not too bad. Not in the best condition, but it does roll still. We'll keep it. This thing, highly debated item. It's a blank credit card. It's for blocking RFID. It's for survival. It's for using as a mirror when you're lost at sea. Uh, a lot of things, a lot of things in the comments about that one, but we're recycling it. So I found this leather band on the beach and it says Frenchiest Fry. And when I Googled it, that's like a meme. And it's like, basically it's like a fat joke. So whoever got this was like, probably kind of chunky and proud but it's kind of moldy and gross from being wet all the time so we are throwing it out
original fire truck. I think that's my first my first toy car actually right here, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't roll packed with sand, but we're keeping it. Sentimental value, baby. A little weed jar thing, container. On a low rider truck. It's a keeper. Now this one was also a parking lot find on the way to metal detect. The old koosh ball. <laughs> now there goes the Tesla key. Model X. In case you're wondering where I'm at right now, I'm at my parents' house on their deck in the backyard. Ah, this old thing, guitar capo. I had no idea what this was when I found it. I thought it was for a phone. Bam, Artemis. Let's try to expedite this process a little bit here. Minus the tent stakes. <laughs> All right, it's safe to assume that none of that is coins. There it is. There's that earring I was looking for. That thing is toast, but I thought I threw it away on accident. But there it is. There's that little ball. What'd y'all say this was for? Like, Pekino or something? We'll keep it. A oh, rusty ball. Oh, I guess this thing was Ferris after all. I think this is from a fishing pole. But I was too distracted by skinny dipping women to pay further attention to it.
And I got so excited when I found this one. I thought it was gonna be a gold ring. I saw like just that edge. Ooh boy, but it's like like a little keychain clip or something. Which might actually come in handy. I might keep that. More fishing weights. Hold up, I think we got something serious right here. Wow guys, can you see that? You know what this actually is? It's 1906 V-Nickel. I was making fun of this, calling it a war penny and woo woo woo. It's actually a 1906 V-Nickel. The back's kind of destroyed but you could you can see the v on it a little bit but dude look at the date right there if you can see it that's crazy v nickel baby and from washington square park see that's why we're going through it to re-examine some of this stuff oh there's my boardwalk token i forgot about that's cool Man, so far so good on the coins. We're not even done picking about yet. Bubba Gumps, is this technically an error coin? <laughs> Since it's way off center. I don't think I'm gonna keep this one either. Maybe, I don't know. We'll throw it over there for now. Oh, there's another weedy. It says 19... 1952 on the back you can see it says one cent with the little wheats i didn't know they made them that late i thought they stopped them in like the 40s i guess not you want to focus on it no okay if i'm reading that right it says this dime is 1963 but it could be 1968 but if it was 63 it'd be silver and i don't think silver turns green like that Unless it's just more gorgeous patina. Oh, now it's in the tent stakes. We lost it. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay, now that everything is essentially sorted out, now we're gonna really take a look at what we've got. So, this is all recycle garbage basically it's like half a bucket this is all pretty much pull tabs and bottle caps and just junk this is going straight in the recycle this box is just straight up trash vapes strings fishing line pencils crayons just junk this is stuff that we'll keep and this is stuff that we might keep so we'll take a second look at this stuff and we're gonna sort out this coins and get a total dollar amount. And we're gonna get a total tent stake count. But this is not all tent stakes. This is only tent stakes that I've kept. I've probably thrown away just as many as this. So let's, let's do that. Let's see how many tent stakes we got here. Oh, one, these are skewers. The skewers we're gonna recycle, we don't need those. We don't need the tent stakes either, but whatever. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the last one, 86. 86 tent stakes, ladies and gentlemen. 
Now we're going to see which ones are aluminum and worth keeping. So basically, if they're not aluminum, I'm going to recycle them. None of these seem to be aluminum. Aluminium. I thought for sure these were gonna be aluminum. I guess not. Any aluminum ones? I don't think there are any aluminum ones. Here's that they are all ferrous. Therefore, they are all getting recycled the easy way in the recycle can. <laughs> Not bad. So there you have it right there. Trash and more trash. So I'm going to go dump this stuff in the recycle real quick. This is going in the garbage. So, Tent Steak Depot, man. I don't think we're going to open up on time. Because I thought it was going to be aluminum. Well, I guess not. Okay, now let's go through these coins and see exactly how much we have here. So I'm going to throw the unspendables in this box right here. Ooh, 1964. If that was something other than a penny, it'd be silver. <laughs> I was like, I wonder if this penny's real. Boom. Cracked it right in half. Zinker. Oh, yeah. Th that's these new ones. The, they're facing the other way. So it threw me off when I found it. I was like, what is that? It's just a newest quarter on earth. Maya Angelou. So there's all the chains sorted out. And then there's the like, just destroyed zinkers basically. So I'll count this out real quick. And then this is the good stuff right here. I mean, that's a, that's a boardwalk token, but that's a freaking 1906 Liberty V nickel. And those two are Wheaties. And then I have a better weedy, I think, in the house somewhere. That I'll have to maybe find. I don't know. Okay, so in quarters, we got $17.25. So there's a dollar in nickels right there. Dollar. So minus the V nickel, we have exactly $2 in nickels here. Dimes, let's see. Okay, so there's $2 in dimes. Still going. Three. There's two more dollars and dimes, so that's 
four dollars and dimes still going. Okay, so we have six dollars and twenty cents in dimes. And last but not least, the pennies, the spendable pennies. So that's a grand total of $1. So 18, 25, 19, 25 plus, what did I say? $6 and I think it's $6.40. So we got $25.40. If my math is correct, not counting the, the junkers. So think about that. Each one of these is an individual dig, more or less. Very rarely did I get multiple coins in one scoop. So that's pretty crazy, right? Pretty cool. All right, now the best for last. All right, so we're gonna add that to our existing change bucket. Yes, these are some magnet fishing finds in here too. Remember these? They're here. And then these too. Nobody claimed them. So if you're watching this video and these are your keys and you dropped them near Larkin Park in Monterey, hit me up. I still got them. Oh yes, and the sheriff's badge was in with the change. Definitely novelty. It's a prize um, from the beach boardwalk, not authentic. But here's, here we go, guys. Reward for your patience. Here's the best, best of the best for last here. So here's a buffalo nickel and a mercury dime, but I didn't find these. These are from Juice. Can you dig it? Metal detecting. From the very first live stream I went to, I won and I got these. So... They're in my treasure collection, but I, I didn't find these. I can't take credit for that. Woo, but I did find this though, 1906, baby. That's crazy. Okay, so here's all the good stuff or the best of the, the bad stuff or whatever you want to call it. So this right here, I guess these two right here might be the best of it. I thought this was junk when I first found it, but on the very bottom, if you could even see it, wherever it is, there is a stamp on the inside and it does say 14 carat. It'd be a miracle if this focused on it, but it does have a 14K stamp in it. Same with this little bracelet. So there are 15 rings here. This is all the jewelry. I mean, this is, these are pins, of course. This was on Etsy for like, I don't know, $13 or something. This is probably just a dog tag. We found out this is Ferris. But this one right here, that's gold for sure. And these three here, these are tungstens here. And that might be real gold in there. I don't know. But this one is has an inscription it says i love you forever so that could be a wedding band and if it is that's probably gold the blue in this one is crushed blue opal and then this one is just tungsten i guess so those are cool though and then we got you know the costume jewelry the little little just little kid ones from the tot lot this is my first ever ring this one's 925 silver really small but there is a stamp in there, 925. This one I'm doubting is real. Those are all junk hoop earrings. This one I doubt is of any value because it's got like an enamel sticker on it that you can see is like peeling up and it's bent. 
Uh, this chain, I don't know if that's silver. Probably not. I doubt it. This thing. So the charms are obviously fake. And the, the regular chain itself is also fake. But this little part. Not the chain, just the heart part. I think is 10k according to an expert that I had look at it. <laughs> expert, quote unquote. Uh, we got the snake ring, we got the earring, we got the little hummingbird, California Republic, booty worship, gothic pen, whatever that was called on the internet. A little stone, this little earring from the beach, you know, junker jewelry, but it's fun to find, you know? But right here, I think this is the best of it right here. This is 14 karat gold filled. So there is gold on it, but it's not all gold. So there you go. That's pretty much everything I've ever found metal detecting. Everything good anyway. We're gonna add this to the good box. This is a 1906 freaking super duper nickel. And I was, I was making fun of this thing. I was like, ooh, it's all beat up, blah, blah, blah. Look at that. That's a heck of a find. Right here in my backyard. I mean, not literally in the backyard, but like right around the corner from the house. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, and the clip-on blingers, you know. Gotta keep it classy. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There's our for sure keepers. There's our extra, extra for sure keepers. And here's some older stuff here. And then this stuff I still gotta sort through and decide if I wanna keep it or not. You know, the Allen wrenches. I'll keep the fishing weights for sure. The lures, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I know this video probably wasn't what you were hoping for. We're not out hunting, but like I said, I didn't feel too great today, so this is what we're doing. Plus we needed to clean out that car to make room for all the new better finds. Right on guys. Appreciate all y'all hanging out. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. Um, check out the links in the description, Kratos magnets, channel t-shirts. Uh, I got an Instagram with a face reveal posted. <laughs> um check out the channel shout outs in the description too and you know all that youtube stuff hit the like button share it out hit the bell so you're not tardy to the party or slow to the show any of that jazz and we'll see you on the next one peace